Okay, okay, okay. We'll do it, we'll do it. We'll move you. Put that tail down. As you can tell, see I struggled a little bit trying to pour it over the fence. Try not to get in the fence, but all right, we're gonna try this tub. I didn't have another heavy trough, um, one of those heavy duty ones because I'm feeding the calves out of it. We'll see how this tub works because there's the problem right there. We'll see if this guy will not flip it. If he does flip it, I guess the only, like here, I, I spilt that. It's, I don't know. If he does dump it, the minerals are in the ground. So we'll see what the uh, herd thinks about it. They're going to come check it out. And whoo, she said, whoo. Oh no, that's because of quapaws around. Sniffing her. Mm, what is that? We'll see what they think. I did the tin fine with garlic. So. I don't know if you guys have ever met the characters or not. I just wanted to introduce you to the loudmouth, the ones who are always interrupting my vlogging, blogging, whatever you want to call it. These guys, especially this one right here, they're pretty feisty too. Uh, they'll uh, they'll get after you. So there you go. Don't have names for them, but these are the hooligans that are always interrupting me. Thank you for everything you guys do.
Uh, first one's gonna be put out for our bulls that I've got uh, pinned up. Because it is fly season, I'm gonna go with the tin fine garlic. See how it goes. Because it is early in the year, I wanna get a jump on it and see how the bison react to it. That's kind of the thing I wanna try. Last year was a little late, so to put it out. But I'm gonna put this one out for the bulls just because they're up here and uh, when it rains, it gets really muddy in this area and whatnot. They've got the free choice uh, feed. I think if there's any attraction of flies, it's gonna be more up here. So I'm gonna put this one out for now. You can't smell it right now, but that garlic is strong. I mean, this mineral looks so good. I, I want to lick it. I want to taste of it, but I'm not going to. So, um, <laughs> but whoo, that garlic, that garlic sure smells good. Tempting for sure. Let's go put some bison 90 out for the calves. I think they'll like it. They've been, they've, since I put them out there, they've eaten a bunch of it. They seem to like it. What's up, grazers? You guys look happy out there in that green grass. Let's take a look. I think they're expecting feed, but they'll like this. Maybe not this minute. They'll get it figured out. The calves have got the bisonini, selenium, minerals. The bulls have the garlic, um, loose mineral. I put all loose mineral out today. We're gonna see how that goes. It's gonna be a good test run because it's early in the year, you get lots of moisture, the flies start coming out. So I really wanna see how the garlic responds to the bulls and to the big herd as well. Garlic is just an additive to the mineral. Definitely smell that stuff, but supposedly it's supposed to keep the flies away. So we'll see if that reduces the flies on the bison. Other than that, these are just minerals that if they're not getting from what mother nature provides, then this is something that can help fill in those gaps for the bison. The next thing I need to do is I need to do some soil samples out here and get it back to Redmond and see, uh, kind of see where we're at and see what minerals that are lacking here on this specific property. Just things you gotta do for the bison, try to keep them as healthy as possible. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you've enjoyed uh, the, the latest couple of videos. If you guys haven't, you can check out our website at crosstimmersbison.com. You can check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching us. See the paint.